and welcome. I'd like to introduce you to my new um, signal conditioning and half bridge driver board I promised to provide you last year. It's based on a design I have um, done a couple of years ago, uh, years, years back, where to demonstrate how you efficiently can drive with a proper signal generation and separation and delay a uh, um, successful half bridge as this one here. So this board um, will be made, uh, made available for my, my um, members on my website and I will also have a product page where I sell the board itself and the component together or also as an option a fully um, completed mounted board as such as well. So to give you a little rundown before we go to, to other details, so the, there is a signal input stage that means it can take any signal input from uh, TTL to CMOS, that means 2.5 volt up to 5 volt. It has voltage regulation, that means it's over voltage protected, it's also under voltage protected. In the first stage it digitizes the signal, so you can use any sign of signal, you can use square waves or you can use pulses and you have full range possibility of manipulating the delay. One of the benefits of this board is it is shortage safe, that means you will not destroy your amplifier stage here. So after the conditioning stage and the signal separation stage it goes then to an isolated stage, here is the driver side. So we have here on this side, this is the signal conditioning side and this side is the isolated driver um, um, area side. This board for those who want to build it themselves is mainly built on standard through the whole components. The only, only um, um, exception is I had to use small inductors as SMDs, but there's, there are bigger SMDs where you have also a larger pad where you can solder them on yourself. The board can be completely customized in terms of um, the signal you want to drive, you, you have the high side and you have a low side as it's a standard, it's a normal industrial designed half bridge um, 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 chips available. However, these chips are only application specific, they're mostly only for motors and not specifically um, used for any kind of other uh, coil systems you want to drive and they don't give us the flexibility to use um, any kind of higher frequency. So this board operates with a clean wave up to 2 megahertz and can be operated up to 3 megahertz. Uh, as I said, signal is sine wave and when you have square wave and pulse wave you have full range possibility of manipulating the delay between both ports. That was the introduction of that. I want to show you briefly now um, the design I have done as support here visible, so the, the, the footprint will be smaller. You see the dimensions here um, marked on the board itself. So this information, that means all the Gerber files, everything you need to print out this board will be made available for my members to use and to print the board themselves. For customers and also for members, they will have the opportunity to buy the board itself or buy the board and the um, component list together and can mount it themselves, sold it themselves or as an additional alternative and that is based then on um, how many orders I will get I can provide it already completely mounted. So from, from a calculation point of view the board will cost around 25 pound plus VAT and the component list an, another 25 pound. So that all together will be available as combination plus VAT for any customer and mounted I have to make the calculation for the mounted board at first I have to receive a couple of orders to see how many I can get and how cheap I can get it produced so that's, that is what I would like to provide as an update for you and more will be visible on my website. 
Thank you.